Hi, I'm Nicole Bond. I'm the Educational Technology Specialist here at Lincoln University 12. And today, I'm going to show you the new Quick Access feature in Google Meet. So let me just take us right out to Google Meet real fast. So what I have going on on my screen here is I am logged in under two accounts. The account over here is my teacher account, the one with my face up here, and the account over here with an N is my student account. So if I go over here and I join or start a meeting, I'm going to skip doing a nickname, and I'm gonna go right into my meeting. Now I'm gonna mute myself on all of my devices so we don't get feedback since I'm recording something that's like a video recording. Um, so I've muted myself, and I'm gonna go over here to join now. And now that I'm in, it's giving me these details, which I'm going to make sure I share with my students account over here on the right. So I'm going to share them over here. But before I do that, before I do that, I'm gonna go down here to the little blue shield. So when I bring up the little blue shield, if you haven't been in Google Meet recently, you may not have noticed that this is slowly appearing here in the next two weeks. Um, this shield allows us to toggle whether we want to, uh, everyone in our meeting to share their screen, send chat messages, so I can turn my chat on and off. But most importantly, this one just appeared in the last few days, is the quick access. So if you look at the description, it says here, when turned off, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join, including people in your organization. So what this does is pretty much gives you a sort of waiting room in Google Meet so that everyone who wants to join has to ask and I have to give them permission to come into my Google Meet, including my students. This allows me to more effectively take attendance. Um, this allows me to keep this particular room on lockdown as long as I'm in there and I'm the last one out. You should still always be the last one out of your Google Meet room, just like you do the last one out of your classroom. This will keep it locked down. So this is a really important security feature. So I'm gonna toggle that and then I'm gonna have my students to join. So my student's going to join. I'll allow it to use my camera and my microphone. It's using my document camera. I'm also going to mute it again for the feedback reasons. Do you see here it says ready to join? Ask to join. So I'm going to toggle and ask to join as a student. And this is my teacher screen. It says someone wants to join this meeting. And I can deny them entry or I could admit them. So this is a student in my domain that I'm admitting. So you see, now I can see myself and my student as well. I'm now gonna bring up my meeting details again because I'm gonna join from my phone with an outside account. So you can see what happens when someone who isn't in my organization what happens when they try to join to see if it's any different. So a lot of times when we have parents joining, they may not have an organization email that comes up. They may just be using a Gmail account or something else. So if someone is trying to join, boom. And it even tells me outside Lincoln Intermediate Unit. So even if it's a student or somebody outside the Intermediate Unit, so I'm trying to join with my personal account, this will also control that. So I can determine if I want to allow that person to enter as well. So that's how the new quick access feature works. I highly suggest going in and adjusting that setting every time you open up a Google Meet, maybe go in a minute or two early before, before the kids do, so you can make sure that you toggle that you have to get them permission. Um, to log in. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks.